objective for the UI team is to animate the user interface. The second objective is headset functionality. The third objective for the UI team is scanning the surroundings. All right, what do you say? The most important piece in UI is the eyepiece because it holds all the details about device. I'm creating the 2D animation of elements and then um, I'm giving the mask files to him. And then I'm animating the, all the elements in 3D. Yeah, I want like, to have at least one element animated showing in screen and like working in HoloLens, not only in Unity. So this is what I'm working on. This is the eyepiece. Um, there will be several layers to it. We are trying to assign a functionality to every single thing. Like if you have a 3D assets of anything, um, we can pretty much put it on the UR. Oh, it's terrible frame rate. Bad frame rate? Like how bad? Yeah, like really, really bad. Oh like, no. It's always been really, really bad. No, he said he made it worse though. Oh, no, what is it now? This is it. Like this five? Like five. Four. Yeah. Five. It's not smooth. <laughs> less polygons. But how should I make More it less polygons? Yeah, Look at this. It's, All right. it's minimum. I think we should like just fake it, but like we're wasting so many, like a lot of time on this. Yeah. Recreate this um, in 2D and have a 3D effect. So make a plane and then fake the 3D effect of having a UI in 3D, but in 2D. So it'll save us a uh, lot of processing. Hey Cortana, take a video. Recording. Okay, it's recording. Yeah. Hi peoples. <laughs> How's it going? So we have a reticle that's following my left eye right now. As I look around the environment, it still stays with me, but it lags a little behind just because we want it to uh, look like it's, it's sort of in the world and just following. We are going to probably try and incorporate with the fabrication team, get the, uh, the boards talking to the HoloLens. All of that is going to be inside the helmet. Yep. And I'm going to say, is it, do I call it Cortana or would I call it Jarvis? Would uh, I say like, Cortana, open my face, please. If it's named Cortana now, there might be a way to rename it so that it, you can say Jarvis and it will know that Jarvis is uh, who you want. And then it will just, that will be a, what's called the on cue command. Yeah, everything like, you can talk about everything by voice comment. Uh, the target, uh, yeah, the eyepiece, like you can say target, it's gonna like show up on screen. You can say sleep, it's gonna mm -hmm. go away. It's not showing. No. Yeah, no. This is just like... What should target? I say? Target? Yeah. Target. Target. I don't even know how to debug that. Alright, target. Oh jeez, that's a lot of exceptions. Alright. So we are just trying to integrate this. Uh, what the user says, uh, target, this animation will initiate. It's about to work. Target. It didn't uh, throw any errors. I guess? What else? Is it working? Yes. Okay. Is it working? So yeah, I just got voice recognition. Is it taking voice commands already? Yes. So when you say wake up, like this wake thing up. is going to show up on the screen. When you say close, it's going to disappear. So I'm just trying this close. functionality. But yeah, I just got this. Wake up. Then I'm going to start working on all the UI no. elements, like animations and everything now. Do you get to pick out the terms that it recognizes? Close. Like, wake up, did you type that? Yes. Okay, so cool. I can show you. Close. You can show me close, all close, kinds close. of lines of code. Wake up. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Can I like stand up and like look down on it? <gasps> you can! What? What? <laughs> You can see the bottom and the top and the sides. Um, I'm working on the face recognition. <gasps> so like, so, yeah. I'll look at you and I'll be like, ah, no. Probably. Yeah, so you will be able to tell how he looks pretty much, male, female, age, guess, pretty much. We just want to make sure it can run. Yeah. <laughs> Am I just going to see Chloe Moretz in front of me? 34.9. Scanning her face is just like a sprite she, that I'm she's like, to test. She's like, she should just round up the DJ. She's in her 20s now, right? And that's Chloe. Yeah, I'm just like loading her sprite there just to, to test what I'm doing. But yeah. Yeah, I would love that. She can be the special guest star. Chloe, if you're watching. <laughs> she isn't. <laughs> Joe would like a date. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I, can, does it, can it guess me? Yeah. What? Uh, can this, so how, how old am I? 32. Oh my God, <laughs> everyone is fired. You can leave now. This is the picture that it took? Yeah. Why would you ever let this happen? <laughs> The entire eyepiece is working. Uh, we have head distance to a particular object distance. Uh, we have that uh, distance showing in the eyepiece. And what I did is I'm just calculating the distance between the physical object and my headset. And then I'm dividing it into seven parts. And the eyepiece has seven layers. So it's pretty much spreading out into that distance. You will see the accurate distance. Ooh, Not accurate, but approx distance of how far the object is. I personally really wanted to implement uh, object detection because that what really makes the suit uh, capable of scanning around and like knowing that there is a keyboard there and knowing that there is a book there. The problem with that is when it scans a picture, we convert that entire 3D world into a 2D space and we just have X, Y coordinate for a particular object and then place it back into 3D world. We don't know the Z axis. I feel pretty good about everything that's going into the prototype. I, I think it. It all sort of represents our goals. So let's see this project you're working on. We started out with just sort of a, a simple UI design. Uh, so we put the, the reticle, the eyepiece in, uh, and it sort of looks at whatever you're looking at. Then we tried to add a few different things like uh, speed and roll pitch and yaw and all that sort of information. Not a lot of it worked out, <laughs> but we were able to get a, a few Pretty cool things in there. Yeah, you can try it out. <laughs> no, I had a big head. <laughs> All right. What are you seeing? So the the Iron Man reticle, which is shown in the movie. This is looks like it's straight out of the movie. That's awesome. <laughs> but uh, basically, looks at what you're looking at, and based on the depth perception, it actually scales it too. So it actually looks mm -hmm. like it's it's tracking like on your face right now. <gasps> and now, if I look back at the wall, it's it's zoomed up to over there. <laughs> so what's next for you guys? Uh, we're gonna put in some sounds and uh, so it sounds cool as well as looks cool. Uh, and then after that, we're basically just testing, trying to find bugs and fix them. What kind of bugs can you anticipate in something like this? Probably a lot. The yeah. <laughs> There's facial recognition is. Uh, yeah, facial recognition is one of the the staples sort of of this program. Yeah. If something sort of is off with the, the Microsoft servers or with anything like that, then it could cause some issues. So we're basically just trying to uh, figure out what kind of problems can occur and how to avoid them if they do. I, I love the look that you've got going and mm -hmm. um, I'm really curious to see where you end up taking it. The actual uh, UI and the HoloLens part is coming along great and I, I like the way that looks. So the question is, can we make this look aesthetically good? Because that's, that's the end goal, making it functional and aesthetic. But uh, as with all of my projects, function comes first. So I'm pretty happy with the level of function we have right now, and that's the, the Iron Man interface that the, uh, the guys are working on. There is a um, small issue. <laughs> It was so, working fine yesterday, and like at night, it stopped working like on my computer, oh, and on, oh. and on his computer as well. I turned it off because uh, it's glitched. Visual Studio, like for some reason, is not deploying to the whole lens in release mode, and we have no idea why. Maybe the whole lens upgraded and it doesn't know the same uh, developer SDK, yeah. so we'll just try to make the pair again. Yeah. It was working well too. The project is broken right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit broken. Yeah. <laughs> we thought we had it figured out. We thought this new API that we had to use was going to be the right one. And even then, it just didn't work. Jarvis, initiate. If you want to see more and you want to keep up with the progress and see what they're doing next, make sure that you like and subscribe so you can see everything that's happening. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>